Now the majority of people that actually set big goals make one of two mistakes. Number one, they make these outrageous, big, humongous goals and don't know how to attack it. And so they never achieve these big goals. And then the second mistake is that people don't actually set quality goals. And so my name is James Huntley, personal mentor, civil engineer. And today I want to share how you can improve your goal setting skills and how you can set some quality goals so that you're able to achieve your biggest, your fiercest, your most challenging goals ever. So gonna wanna make sure you stay in tuned to this entire video and let's get right. So welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, what's up? My name is James Huntley. Before I get started with any of my content, gotta show y'all some love, so bring it in. Bring it in, come here, give me a hug. I'm on a little step, but I'ma still show y'all some love. Still, still gotta show y'all some love. We're on this channel, we go over financial literacy, some motivational content, some professional development, as well as personal development to help you guys grow each and every single day. So if this is something that you want to be a part of, you want to be a part of the J underscore Get Right community, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications so that you know when I post, where I post, and so that we can grow together. So what is the difference between actually setting goals and setting quality goals? And so let me explain the difference to you. When you're just setting goals, you are literally just building up a list of tasks for you to do or an agenda um, like I want to be fit or I want to be a millionaire or I want to have one kid like this is just a list of things that you want to accomplish and at the end of the year if it hasn't happened you just say it again the next year so when you set quality goals there is a reason behind why you are setting these goals. I want to be fit because why? I want to be a millionaire because why? What's your, what's your reasoning behind it? You're just, just saying this stuff. What's, what's the reasoning behind it? And so when you set quality goals, when you are able to have some quality goals, then you know why you're setting these goals. And so, Normally, there is a passion behind these goals, and there is something that is able to push you in order to take action in order to accomplish these goals. So, you're not just out here blurting out statements, false, just, just saying a bunch of gibber. You, you're actually, there's some reasoning behind why you want to achieve these different things, and you are actually passionate about these different things. So I have made a video on how to improve your motivation skills and things that will help with your passion and understanding your passion. I'm going to leave that in the card section up above. And let me just say this, all quality goals, no matter if you view them as big or small, are a lot more effective than just writing out a list, right? Because when you actually are able to create some quality goals, you are going to be very passionate and it's going to fulfill you. It's going to fulfill your spirit. So you're going to be in good spirit. You're going to be happy. You're going to have these you know, good feelings towards doing whatever goals that you're set to achieve, right? This is super important. It doesn't matter how small or big that goal seems. As long as it is a quality goal, you are golden. You're gonna be happy, you're gonna be passionate, you're gonna be motivated to actually achieve that goal. And also, when you are able to set quality goals, it's almost going to increase your self-discipline. Now, you may say, you know, self-discipline has nothing to do with setting quality goals. Well, when you are passionate about something and you've actually set quality goals and you're setting goals that will fulfill you, you actually will be more disciplined in trying to achieve those goals. So it's when you set those quality goals, they're actually gonna improve your self-discipline as well. 
So how can you improve your goal setting skills so that you're able to achieve bigger and bigger goals? The first thing you're gonna have to do is write them down. No big goal should just be floating in your head. You need to be writing out these big goals. Once you're able to put it in writing and you're actually able to visualize it, it gets you thinking even more about these goals that you have, right? I mean, you write something down, review it, and you're able to actually see it and actually manifest that goal. Second thing you're gonna want to do when you're trying to improve your goal setting skills and set some quality goals, and I kind of touched on this a little bit before, but you want to pick something that you're actually passionate about. If you want to be a lawyer or a physician or whatever occupation, and it has a great title, um, you know, people are excited for you to actually achieve this goal, or you feel as if, you know, you should be in the music industry and you feel that that's, you know, what other people would want you to do. It's already, you're already starting off on the wrong foot. It needs to be something that you are actually passionate about, something that you enjoy, something that you can, you know, um, take time to improve your skills on. It needs to be something that you're willing to uh, work at, get better at, and that you're motivated to continue even when things get tough because let's be honest here, if you're setting big goals, it's not gonna be easy to achieve them. It's gonna take steps, it's gonna take time, and it's gonna take effort to actually be able to achieve those big goals. It is really in your best interest to make sure that you actually are passionate about the goals that you're setting so that when things get tough, when uh, things get easy, when you're you know, repeating certain things over and over and over and over and you're staying consistent with trying to achieve you know, your goals, you're gonna wanna make sure that you, know, you love what you do, you are enjoying what you do and you're enjoying the process through it. So I have a little quote for you all. I don't like to just be throwing content on content on content and I give you some other viewpoints. So uh, this quote by this, he's not really famous, but his name is Michael Altschuler. And he says that the bad news is that time flies, but the good news is that you're the pilot. And so you can take that and, and really, you know, be thankful, you know, time is gonna go. You're gonna have goals that you're gonna want to achieve, but you are going to have to be able to manage your time and to actually carry out those goals uh, that you're setting, those quality goals that you're setting. And so my third thing to be able to improve your goal setting skills and to actually set some quality goals is going to be prioritizing one goal at a time, right? you only have a certain amount of time you can only you know do so many things you only got you know two toes Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm dripping you got yeah you got you got two feet I don't even know if that's how you how you say it but you know you are only one person right Maybe that'll, that'll clear that up you're one person so if you're able to actually take you know one goal and focus on it and be able to do the things you need for that one goal and to accomplish that one goal, then you can move on and get to the next level. But you have to focus on one thing. When you're trying to focus on this, you're trying to focus on that, and you are giving 50%, 20%, 30%, because you got five and 10 and 20 different things that you're trying to focus on, it's gonna be tough, right? Let me give you an example. LeBron James, what is he known for? Well, I think most people know him for basketball. But what did he just do? He just came out with a movie, Space Jam 2, where he did what? He was an actor, all right? He was in a movie, he was starring. He was, you know, acting things out and, and pursuing a different 
career path or taking an interest in a different career path. There are people who are known for acting. There are people who are known for basketball. But why are they known for it? They've perfected their craft. They've focused in on that one thing and they've dominated that one specific thing. And so that's why they're known. They will go down in history for what they have perfected. So it's the same thing when you're setting your goals. You want to make sure that you are zoned in, you are focused, you are mastering your craft. Because once you are at that point, then you can achieve those big goals. You can set quality goals where you are first fulfilled by your passion. Number two, then you're able to be motivated and actually achieve these big goals. And you are given 100% to that goal. So, um, yeah. And listen, I only gave you three ways that you can improve your goal setting skills and be able to set some quality goals. But that's definitely not all that's out there. So in the description bar below, I've put down some articles, some educational resources that you guys can click on, take a look at it, and be able to learn even more about how you can improve your goal setting skills to be able to achieve whatever you want to achieve. This is some exciting stuff um, in the comment section down below. Let me know uh, what you're doing to improve your goal setting skills and what you're doing to make sure that you are able to have quality goals and what's keeping you motivated and what is your passion. So also, um, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and hit that subscription button if you missed it on the first go round. It is my goal, right? Everybody has goals. This is one of my quality goals that I have set to reach at least 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2021. Now I put a time frame on it, but either way, I'm gonna hit that goal. I'm just gonna take small steps. But you know what? Your one subscription really, really, really helps. And the reason and the passion that I have behind that goal is that it's going to be able to impact and teach people what they're not teaching them in schools, right? Uh, super important. Uh, the knowledge that you don't have uh, can really hurt you. The knowledge that you do have can really help you. So it's gonna make an impact. If I can impact a thousand people, I know they're probably sharing it with one or two people. That means I'm impacting like 3,000 people and that's in one year. So um, super exciting. Um, that's, that, that's what drives me. And even after that, I'm gonna have even more goals. Uh, to, to keep making that impact. So really appreciate you guys for watching. Um, if you've got some questions, some concerns, you know, feel free to hit me up on any of my social media platforms at J underscore get right. Um, I'll be on there uh, posting more content that's going to help you all out more growth content. So feel free to follow me or ask me um, anything and I can make videos about it. I can quickly DM you back where I am a part time um, engineer and a full-time mentor. So like I said, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Ask yourself, are you really where you want to be?